Okay, so in this static uh, friction review question, more of a quantitative static friction question, um, we're looking at the person trying to move a very heavy rock or block. I guess I've switched up the words rock and block here. Um, but the block has a mass of 50 kg, so it's pretty heavy. And the coefficient of static friction between the rock and the ground is 0.6. And what is the minimum value of the tension of the rope that will cause the block to slip? So we've got to note that here the, um, there is an 18 degree uh, angle between the tension and the horizontal. And that will affect the size of the normal force, which will affect the size of the maximum static friction force. So like all of these um, friction, kinetic friction problems, um, they're also buried inside of the... You know, course of Newton's laws and uh, understanding of forces. So if we were to draw a free body diagram for the uh, block, there is a weight force, of course, on the block by the earth. There is a normal force, which is not the same magnitude as the um, weight force because of this y component and the tension. It was a little bit smaller. Normal force on the block by the ground, I'll say. Then we have this um, tension force. Up to the right. Tension force on the block uh, by the rope. And so its y component plus the normal would, would balance out the weight. And then there's a friction force, assuming that it is a rest. There's going to be some sort of friction force here on the block by the ground. What we want to solve here is what is the minimum value um, that that tension force needs to be in order for the block to slip, sort of start uh, basically accelerating. So for that to happen, the tension force has to um, tension force has, has to equal the maximum static friction force and at that point you're at this sort of slipping condition so um, and I guess really not the tension force but the tension x component has to be at the maximum static uh, friction force uh, and that's what, how we set up the problem so for the block uh, so for the condition to slip T X T B or X has to be equal to F S max, so that the X components, and then we're trying to solve for the tension. So we know that the tension B or X is going to be equal to the tension um, times the cosine of 18 degrees, and this F S max only the F S max is equal to mu S times the normal. Now what we have to think here is that the normal is not just equal to the weight, but we know that the normal plus T, B, or Y is equal to M, G. So the two, up, the two upper component forces are equal to the downward force. So the normal is equal to M, G minus T, B, or Y, which of course is equal to M, G minus T sine of 18. So a sort of challenging algebra problem also. Um, so now we have a, we can set up our original equation, go back here to this sort of step here, and plugging our work in here for the normal. So we'll put these sort of together. And then we can sort of do our algebra. So we have T cosine of 18 is equal to mu s times mg minus T sine of 18. And we're going to have to get that t on its own. We're going to isolate that t. So t times cosine of 18 equals mu s mg minus mu s t sine of 18. I need some extra room here, so I'm going to bring the t, this mu s t term over to the other side so we can group the t's together. So t cosine of 18 plus the mu s, so bringing across the equal sign makes this a negative sign. Mu s t sine of 18 is equal to mu s mg. And now I can take out the t term in this expression. So t 
parentheses cosine of 18 plus us sine of 18 equals us mg and the last step would be to do t is equal to us mg all divided by the cosine of 18 plus mu s sine of 18 and if you you have the mu s value in the question and the mass is given in the question 50 g is 9.8 meters per second squared cost of 18 mu s again is given and this all works out to be you know, to 5260 260 newtons which is pretty large it's a sort of uh, but half the weight of the block. The block is about 500 newtons, so just a little over half the weight of the block is uh, required in order to get the block to slip. And then that's as far as the question goes. Uh, once the block begins to slip, the friction force would then be a kinetic friction force.